Caught in a shipwreck, oh, I'm breaking for you. Harmonies. What? What? What's up, guys? I'm Emery Kelly. I'm Ricky Garcia. And I'm Liam Matrich. And, and we, we are Forever in Your Mind, and you're watching Shine on Media. Shine, baby, shine. <laughs> The name Forever in Your Mind. Did you have any other like band names planned before? Um, there was uh, in <laughs> when me and Ricky were still in uh, PSG. X Factor. PSG platinum means uh, platinum, gold. silver, gold, inspired by Justin Bieber of the song "As Long as You Love Me." I'll be your platinum. I'll be your silver. I'll be we your gold. That was a good idea. Yeah, that was, that really was a really good idea. Really good. Uh, there was uh, momentum. Uh, there was uh, intensive gravity, intensive force. Um, Red Horizon. Yeah, Red Horizon. There were a lot. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot. There was like 55 to like 60 names that. Uh, we written down, and then X, the third choice was Trevor in Your Mind, and then X Factor chose that. Okay, so X Factor chose it. You guys didn't. Yeah. Well, honestly, when we didn't even know we were called Forever in Your Mind until right before we, we were Yeah, performing. right before we Because yeah. they were like, oh, you know, here comes the X Factor boy band. And, you know, we were just like, okay. And then after, before we went on, they were like, Forever in Your Mind. And then we were, we're like, like, yay! We're Forever in Your Mind, I guess. Yeah. Someone didn't know your music. They'd never heard it. How would you describe your music? I definitely think it's unique. I think um, you know, it's really special to us because we got to we get to write it, so it really makes it us. And I think it's the best way to describe it is if somebody listened to it, they definitely get a feel of who we were and what we enjoy and like. I think that's the best way to describe it. I like it because um, we take a lot of inspiration from like other past music genres and we bring it into like pop. So we'll also, use like, life experiences. Right. Yeah. So we use take a lot of um, other musical influences and also influences in our life to write the songs. So we just, I think it's unique. It's the best way to describe it. Who are it. your influences? I'm gonna start with uh, Bruno Mars, Justin Bieber, Justin Timberlake, One Direction, Five Seconds of Summer, Ed Sheeran, The Weeknd, Rascal Flatts. Usher. I mean, there's a lot. There's I mean, a lot. He's good. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot, and there's just so uh, much more. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Uh, Prince. Flash. I said that. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Because you know we we I like I know we all like different kinds of music, but I think if you just listen to it, you can hear a lot of different genres in those kind of songs too. At mm -hmm. the same time. Yeah. Just, uh, music is just a universal language that can just go through everything. It's cool. And you guys just released your EP. Congratulations. Yes. Woo! If I want to go down the line, Thank you. <laughs> but there are only four songs. So, is so? There, are there more? So? Like, I'm someone, I'm like, I love the EP already. <laughs> but, well, I mean, <laughs> did yeah, you guys record a lot? Songs. We have, we've recorded, uh, we've recorded a lot, like 50, Probably 60. 50, 50, 60. Wow. Um, but obviously you have to go through selecting process and all that stuff. So we, we, you know, we have some songs that we may be using for future stuff, but we, we definitely know next year we'll have an album like there's not like anything like specific or anything yeah, but we just just to make it to make it clear we know that these four songs in the ep will not be on the album no we so, don't okay no they won't they won't uh, i have no idea we have no idea <laughs> a year later I, do, I wouldn't think it'd be on the I mean, album maybe maybe well we'll find out in a year <laughs> right that's true. it's all it's that's about true. the creative process you know we'll find out in a year but can you guys um tell me your favorite lyrics from this ep uh my favorite lyrics at the entire EP would probably be out of compass. Yeah. I think it has I think it has the the, 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 the best I think it has the best lyric writing out of the songs just because it's probably more the more the meaningful song. I think um, the best would be have to be miss you being next to me, a victim of reality, knowing you might have someone else and then it goes, we were always thinking about tomorrow and now I'm feeling stuck in yesterday. It's it's a cool like, you know, like being like chorus, thinking about tomorrow. The chorus always gets me, even though, you know, we are part of the writing process. To hear it all come together with the production, it just it pushes the song so much more, and it just intensifies the moment and all the lyrics gives that you, come with it. You know, gives you, gives you a little goose. I mean, I mean, let, let me let me just talk out the chorus if it, if need be. You know, <laughs> hit, hit by, by the, the waves, waves. caught in a shipwreck. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, before before we go on, caught in a shipwreck. With, uh, people think that it's like says call it a shipwreck, but it's caught, caught in a caught shipwreck. in a shipwreck. Oh, I, I'm breaking for you. I may be lost. I, I mean, we you know when you write, you don't like put in the O's. It just whatever. If you if it comes out when you're singing, it just that's part of the song. I yeah. think uh, another great part of the song is probably the bridge. Yeah, oh, yes. I mean, that, that, like, that to like, bring it, our it makes me cry. Back to life. Yes. If you li if you listen to the entire song, I think it's it's really funny. You you listen to it and. It's, you know, the, the first, I think the first verse and chorus is, it still is like not happy, but I think it's somewhere in the middle. And then the second verse is kind of, 
more of a sad verse. It's like then, a story, no? And then the the bridge is just just it's just like you're just like it hits you, you and you're just like. You guys make me want to hear. You, like, can you sing some of it? Yeah, we yeah. Can I like now that you're saying it so much. I'm like, just sing it. Do you want to do it with the yeah. harmony? It's, it's yeah. so hard to sing the bridge. All right, ready? We're gonna do the. Uh, Hit by the yeah. way. So we can do it with the harmonies, okay? One, <clears throat> two, three. Hit by the waves, caught in a shipwreck. Oh, I'm breaking for you. I may be lost, but my heart's the compass, so it points back to you. I know that we try. But, but somehow, somehow we fell from the sky I just hope that time Can breathe our wings back to life Hit by the waves Caught in a shipwreck Oh, I'm breaking for you Harmonies What, what? So good I wanna, Thank you I want to hear more, but I know You guys don't want to sing everything I, 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 I mean, we can. <laughs> if we had a guitar. Sing the rest of the interview. Ah, uh, <laughs> my answer to the next question is. I, know, I won't let you guys. Yes. Whatever you want. Whatever in your mind. <laughs> so you said you recorded like 50 songs. Yeah. Is there one song that? Because every band is like, oh, people will never hear this song. Right. Is there? Uh, that, I'm guys, sure there's definitely songs. I, is I, there one you can think of that you can at least tell us about? Uh, um, I mean, we we, we, well, we can't tell you like we can't we won't say the name, but like I, I think I, we could like talk about a concept concept. Blah, blah, blah. There's well, a song true. that like I uh, think we recorded in Catalina and we. Oh uh, yeah, Catalina. And, and that song like, was awesome. Did that with the Gad Brothers. Yeah. But yeah, there's de there's definitely a lot of songs that won't make it through. Whatever it be, whether the song's not as good as the other ones, or whether it be like. Yeah, because the thing is, all that, you know. the songs that we did, they're all good for us. It's just we have to decide which ones we think that people would be more drawn to and, like, right. understand and relate to it more. Or, you know, like, what what's right in the moment. Because, yeah, you know, yeah. our, our um, you know, our style right now, it's sort of um, a funky kind of soul, soul R&B pop. I don't know. I mean, no, no, that, that's how I imagine our, our music. I can I can see it. I can see it. But also, like you know, with rock, I don't know. I think I think I think it's a the tree trunk is pop. The tree trunk of the tree is pop, and then the branches are just like other genres of like soul, rock. Um, what's what is it like when you just do like guitar? Guitar. I mean, acoustic. Acoustic. It's yeah. But that's good because you're branching out. You're not just confined to pop. Right. Exactly. We're not just gonna stay in one genre. We wanna we wanna expand our critique. Yeah, like our, like when we actually put our album out, it might be a, a sort of a, <laughs> we're gonna have like, an FOM you know, catalog. Like it, it might change our yeah. our style might change a little bit, so yeah. we might need to put something out. That you never know. We can go opera next that, year. That sort of uh, oh. that'll be an interesting album. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to go opera, Ricky? No, I was trying to say something about our style. We no, yeah, we were. Just <laughs> we're not gonna go to opera. <laughs> figaro, figaro, figaro. You guys have so much fun together, but the writing process. Yes. Yeah. 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 So if most, if you yeah, think most of the, okay, most most of the, time. Most of the time, yeah, yeah. So like we do act like this all the time when we're with our writers, like uh, Doug Rockwell. He's like one of our like best friends. Like he's he's such a great writer, and like he's exactly like us, just like ten years older, and like that's what's great about it. And is he? Yeah, how old he is, is he? Is. Yeah, he's he's no he's no fart. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you're watching this, Doug, you're not an old fart. You're a sexy man. You're so sexy. We love you. Uh, but, um, yeah, writing writing is a blast. Like, the writing process, we... There's a, there's a point where we're all silent and where we all think, like, really hard, and we get and we tap down deep into our emotions. But then there's also points where we kind of trail off, but we, like, talk about topics that could be in the song and we just don't even know it and like or, all of a sudden like ideas come up and we're like oh why didn't we do this and they're like or ah, we're idiots where you go on a complete <laughs> tangent and no work gets done for a good half hour yeah but or or, or we fall process. or, or yeah, sometimes may, sometimes i time, fall asleep yeah. most, most of the time we get work done because yeah. you know we want to make good music who would you want to tour with though like i think it'd be cool if <laughs> i love it how everything just toned yeah. down uh, i think um ed sheeran Oh, I would love to tour. Five Seconds of Summer, One Direction. Well, I think Sean, all I'd like to sh tour with Shawn Mendes would be cool. Um, I think the people that like we said as our inspirations, like even if they offered, we would just get on our knees and bow to them yeah. and sulk. I would kiss their feet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is that weird? I don't know. I don't think I it's do weird, it. dude. If I would kiss Bruno or JT's feet, I would. Yeah, I'd kiss Bruno's feet. He's got really small feet. 
He's a short my man. My dog. My dog. Okay. Oh, your dog. Yeah, he's got small feet too. True. Is your dog named Bruno? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bruno. Name Bruno Mars. Five years from now, where do you want to see yourself? Okay. I think we have the grand scheme planned out. Okay. Next year, we'll have a uh, number one album in like 100 countries. Yeah. Um, world tour, first world tour. Uh, by second and third year, we accomplish world domination. Fourth and fifth year, double that. Maybe maybe dominate the universe. I don't know. Exactly. Wait, no, galaxy, then the universe. By that time, I think we'll be able to go to Mars, and then we'll meet the Martians, and we'll rock their world. One Direction isn't a band anymore, so you guys can just take over that, right? Well, I hope so. I hope one. I hope we can get to the status that One Direction got to yeah, I mean, over their five-year course. Those are big shoes to fill, you know. So I mean, I mean there's that's like five pairs of shoes, and there's only three of us. <laughs> I wouldn't, oh, oh well. <laughs> I wouldn't think to you know fill their like fill their place, but you know become. The same uh, status, like a, yeah. A, a different success, you know. Yeah, like Maybe I think we, we have a different, like, uh, a what, you know, the way. Yeah, different, we go. different story, a different yeah. story. I think like the 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 value of fame they have. Yes, I think anyone would love the monumental that. success they had and accomplished is definitely something that we idolize and look to. But I don't necessarily following in like exactly in their footsteps you know. and we, we, taking the same path as them because obviously. Great. Yeah. Obviously, everyone's different. Every band's different. So obviously, we want to have our own path and our own success. But we do look up to the amount of success that they were able to do with what yeah, they did. Yeah, really, the only it's thing insane. we have connected with One Direction is that we were put together on the X Factor. Right. That's a, that, that's seriously such uh, an honor. Yeah, and it's the first step. Even compared to them. This is Emery. Hi. Thank you guys so much for your endless support. You minders mean the world to us. And. Uh, Thank you guys for getting our uh, EP to number 18 on the pop charts. Like, that's so surreal. And uh, we love you guys so much. And everything that you guys do for us means the absolute world. All the love. Ricky. Um, <laughs> stay you, be you, because no one else can be you. That's true. We, we love you guys, seriously. Now, I mean, number 18, I wouldn't even think about being number 18 on the pop charts at all. I thought we were going to get to, like, 19, but, like, no, we got to 18. <laughs> We got that one step. Yeah, thank, thank you for your support, guys. Um, we wouldn't be here without you guys, obviously. So thank you for loving us because we love you. And, you know, love goes back and forth. So thanks for the love anyways. So, yeah. And stay rocking. I don't know why we're saying our names before it when we're, lo we're right here. Like signing off on a letter. Hello. I, my name is Liam. Nice to meet you. Hi, yes. Um... I just, yeah, I, I'm going with Ricky. Um, obviously, we wouldn't be here without you guys. You mean the world to us. So I, we love you. And we hope everyone has smiles on their faces all the time. Because I want everyone to be happy. All right. This is Liam signing out again. <laughs>